Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International News Center. I'm Sarah al and we begin with the headlines. His Majesty the King directs the Royal Humanitarian Foundation to provide urgent humanitarian relief aid to the victims of the floods and torrents in Libya. The Minister of Interior reviews the plan to form a search and rescue team for missions outside the country in a way that reflects Bahrain's capabilities in participating in crises and disaster management. And the Minister of Foreign Affairs discusses with the U.S. Senate the development of cooperation in promoting the values of tolerance and human coexistence within the framework of the Abraham Accords. Welcome back. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Decree 80 of the year 2023 establishing a Directorate of Administrative and Services Affairs at the Office of the Special Representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa based on a proposal by the Prime Minister and following the approval of the Cabinet. According to the Decree Item A of Clause 7 of Article 1 of Royal Decree 50 of the year 2022 shall be replaced with the following. A. Executive Director for Administrative and Financial Affairs with the rank of Assistant Undersecretary, who shall be responsible for the, director of the, the Directorate of Administrative and Services Affairs. His Majesty the King also issued Royal Decree 81 of the year 2023, amending some provisions of Decree 7 of the year 2023 on restructuring the Ministry of Foreign Affairs based on the proposal of the Minister of Foreign Affairs and following the approval of the Cabinet. His Majesty the King also issued Decree 82 of the year 2023, restructuring the Baha Tourism and Exhibitions Authority based on the proposal of the Minister of Tourism and following the approval of the Cabinet. His Majesty the King also issued Royal Decree 83 of the year 2023 amending Article 1 of Decree 26 of the year 2021 on the, restructure, the reconstruction of the Ministry of Health based on a proposal by the Health Minister and following the approval of the Cabinet. Under the Decree Clause 2 of Item 2nd of Decree 26 of the year 2021 on uh, the reconstruction of the Ministry of Health shall be abrogated. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa also issued Royal Decree 84 of the year 2023 amending Article 2 of Decree 57 of the year 2016 on the affiliation of the Information and E-Government Authority IGA based on a proposal by the Interior Minister and following the approval of the Cabinet. The decree stipulates the following. A new item fourth shall be added to Article 2 of Decree 57 of the year 2016 on the affiliation of the Information and E-Government Authority and the rest of items shall be renumbered accordingly. The new item reads as follows. Fourth, the Directorate of Innovation and Advanced Technology. His Majesty also issued Royal Decree 85 of the year 2023, restructuring the Board of Directors of the National Space Science Agency, NSSA, based on a proposal by the Secretary General of the Supreme Defense Council and following the approval of the Cabinet. According to the decree, NSSA Board of Directors shall be chaired by Mohammed bin Thamar al kabi and comprised of the following members. Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa bin Abdullah al Khalifa. Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, President of the University of Bahrain, Colonel Ahmed Al Khalifa Al Mannai, Colonel Dr. Ahmed Ali Rway, Colonel Dr. Mitab Khamis Jasim Al Tamimi. NSSA board members shall serve for a four year term. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued a royal directive to provide urgent humanitarian relief aid to the victims of the floods and torrents that struck several areas in eastern Libya. His Majesty the King directed the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, led by His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to help provide the necessary assistance to the victims. On the occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed uh, thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King, the honorary president of the foundation, for his continued humanitarian initiatives in helping those in need in various parts of the world. His Highness affirmed that the Foundation is honored to implement these royal directives. His Highness hailed the support the Foundation receives from the government headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, noting that Bahrain stands by Libya in this painful tragedy and works to alleviate the suffering of those affected and the families of the victims based on the teachings of Islam and authentic Arab customs and in affirmation of the fraternal relations between Bahrain and Libya.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict 85 of the year 2023, appointing a director at the General Secretariat of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, SCYS, based on a proposal by the chairman of the SCYS as per the edict. Hisham Abdul Karim Al Sayyid Ismail Al Alawi was appointed as Director of Resources and Services at the General Secretariat of the SCYS. His Royal Highness also issued Edict 86 of the year 2023, appointing directors of the Civil Service Bureau, the, S the CSB, based on a proposal by the president of the CSB as follows. Khadija Hassan Ali Al Karbabadi appointed as Director of Human Resources Development. Abdullah Ibrahim Abdullah Ramadan appointed as Director of Job Evaluation. Mohammed Abdul Qadir Mohammed Din Al Abidin appointed as Director of Employment. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister issued Edict 87 of the year 2023, appointing a Director at the Tender Board based on a proposal by the Chairman of the Tender Board. The edict stipulates the following Article 1. Lu'ay Ali Abdullah Al Hilu has shall be appointed as Director of the Technical Specifications and Qualifications at the Tender Board. The Minister of Interior and Chairman of the Civil Defense Council, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, chaired the Council's meeting in the presence of the Minister of Municipalities, Affairs and Agriculture, the Minister of Oil and Environment, the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications, the Minister of Works, the Minister of Information, and the Chief of Public Security. The Minister of Interior expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for his interest in strengthening national efforts aimed at ensuring public safety in all fields, praising the keenness and follow up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa in this regard through the government's adoption of the Sustainable Development Goals and the inclusion of measures to reduce uh, disaster risks and protect the environment in the government's work program. He reviewed the plan to form a search and rescue team for missions outside the country in a way that reflects Bahrain's capabilities in participating in crises and disaster management, stressing the importance of meeting the logistical and administrative requirements the team needs. The Council also followed up on the volunteer project for the Civil Defense Service. The Council discussed the national emergency strategy and indicators for risk management at the national level while the minister affirmed that Bahrain adopted sustainable development goals through the integrated civil protection system to reduce risk and enhance national readiness for emergency management. The Chief of Public Security and National Committee for Disaster Management noted that a systematic method for the National Risk Register has been updated. The Minister of Interior expressed thanks to the members of the Council praising their keenness to achieve the desired goals. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Zayani, met with the Chairman of the U.S. Senate Committee on Foreign Relations, Senator Bob Menendez, the Vice Chairman of the Committee's Senior Senator Jim Rich, and the Ambassador to Bahrain to the U.S., Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa, attended the meeting. The two sides discussed the partnership between the two countries and the achievements made by cooperation at all political, defense, security, economic, and development levels. The meeting reviewed ways to enhance cooperation and promoting the values of tolerance and human coexistence within the framework of the goals of the Abraham Accords. The Minister of Labor, Jamil Hamidan, inaugurated a specialized workshop entitled Review and Discussion of the Draft Profile for Occupational Safety and Health in the Kingdom of Bahrain, which is organized by the International Labor Organization, ILO, in cooperation with the Ministry of Labor. In his speech at the beginning of the workshop, Hamidan stressed that uh, the government of Bahrain has paid special attention to occupational safety and health and protecting the in work environment and established qualified and trained supervisory bodies to ensure the proper implementation of those systems and adherence to them to reach advanced levels and enhance workforce protection. He noted the importance of holding these specialized technical activities to develop the procedures of all executive bodies in Bahrain to related to occupational safety and health in order to propose more systems necessary to enhance protection for workers. The event comes within the context of Bahrain's commitment to the principles related to the fundamental rights of the ILO Occupational Health and Safety Convention, the Promotional Framework for Occupational Health and Safety and uh, the Health Convention.
Bahrain ambassador to the UK, Sheikh Fawaz bin Mohammed Al Khalifa met the Lord Mayor of London, Nicholas Leon, in the presence of the advisor to the Economic Development Board, Ian Lindsay. The two sides discussed the outcomes of the recent official visit of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Imam bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to the UK and the agreements and memorandums of understanding signed during the visit. They reviewed ways to strengthen the strategic partnership for cooperation, investment, exchanging expertise and skills in various economic and financial fields. And introduced using the latest technologic technologies in the financial sector. The Lord Mayor praised the depth of relations between the two kingdoms and the partnership between their various financial institutions. The President of Customs, Sheikh Ahmed bin Hamad Al Khalifa, presented a dialogue session titled Leaders and Their Role in the Fulfillment of the Kingdom of Bahrain's Aspirations to the 29th Batch of the Leadership Program, offered by the Institute of Public Administration for Public Sector Directors as part of the National Leadership Development Program. Sheikh Ahmed bin Hamad affirmed that His Majesty the King's vision and the outlook of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister consider national cadres the main pillar of the development of the government work system in Bahrain, noting that national caters are responsible for the transfer of their cumulative practical experience to their institutional caters. The President of Customs stated that such programs create a network of government work that connects all efforts towards facilitating procedures and developing initiatives and national projects that serve citizens and fulfill their aspirations of increasing the quality of services. For her part, the Director General of the Institute of Public Administration, Sheikh Rana bin Isa bin Taid Al Khalifa, noted that the National Leadership Development Program is one of the most prominent programs offered by the Institute, which took into account international standards and the actual needs of public sector employees in Bahrain. The Kingdom of uh, Bahrain is participating in the 45th expanded session of the World Heritage Committee, which is held in Riyadh from September 10th until the 25th. On this occasion, the Chairman of the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities and Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Regional Center, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, said that the return of the meeting of uh, the World Heritage Committee and its sh chairmanship to the Arab world for the third time in 10 years affirms the role played by Arab countries in preserving the global heritage for the benefit of humanity. An implementation of the directives of His Majesty the King to dispatch urgent humanitarian relief aid to the Libyan people to help alleviate their suffering in the aftermath of the devastating floods. The Royal Humanitarian Foundation, RHF, is set to dispatch a relief aid uh, consignment to flood-hit Libyans. The RHF Secretary General, Dr. Mustafa Sayyid, asserted that the RHF, led by His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, has already contacted and coordinated with the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees to dispatch a humanitarian aid shipment to the flood-afflicted Libyans as soon as possible to alleviate their suffering. He noted that RHF had made all the necessary arrangements to deliver urgent humanitarian aid to the flood-hit Libyans in cooperation with relevant ministries and entities as soon as possible. The sessions of the first Arab Forum for Parliamentary Media began in Bahrain under the title Parliamentary Media and Digitization Opportunities and Challenges. The forum is held under the patronage of the chairman of the Shura Council and organized by the Arab League's Arab Administrative Development Organization. It aims to develop the sector's media messages and discuss its mechanisms to develop uh, renewed visions that enrich uh, the parliamentary media arena. The forum included uh, media specialists in the field from various Arab countries to benefit from different ideas and enhance cooperation and partnership. 
The Kingdom of Bahrain ranked first at the international level in the percentage of schools that have been awarded the title of Microsoft Showcase Incubator Schools. Public schools in the kingdom have witnessed remarkable technical development in recent years. Bahrain also ranked first at the Gulf and Arab levels and third at the international levels in terms of the numbers of schools that won the title of 36 schools in Bahrain were able to demonstrate the excellence of their practices in employing technology and education in accordance with Microsoft standards, which employs the tools of the Microsoft 365 package in educational practices.